I have to find a person that can shorten these pants. These pants are my favorite pants ever. Thanks for the person who gave them to me. But the thing is, they're so long that I like step on them. So I cut off the bottom. But like now this is happening. <laughs> so I need to find someone who can fix this. Um, but I don't know anyone. Help me. I am obsessed with coffee. And I am obsessed with matcha. I hadn't even drank matcha up until like last week because I really wanted to try it and so I bought it and I've been drinking matcha instead of coffee every single fucking morning and then today I was like I wonder what it would taste like if I combined them so I did it looks disgusting it looks like henna like henna tattooing but it's so good But well, I don't know if it's good. I am currently... You know, I was sitting at home and I have these pants that are way too fucking big. Like, way too fucking big. And I cut them myself. But the problem is that they're kind of falling apart right now. So I have to get them like professionally done. So that's what I'm doing. That is disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. I think this is it. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. So I just bought in the pants. She was really nice. Problem is, I'm gonna get them back in 14 days. It's like two full long weeks. And those are my favorite pants. Hmm. I have just been laying in bed all morning and it feels great. I got my piercing shortened. That's really nice. Sometimes you just really need time for yourself. And you sometimes forget that you have to do things for yourself, not for others. I went to at work yesterday. It was fun, like I love doing shit on my own just because I know that I I'm just there. And sometimes I forget that I have to do, just do shit for my own. But also just like take matters in my own hands. So today we're doing nothing. Isn't that great? Anyways, let's make a matcha tea. I lied. When I was drunk yesterday, I broke the glass that I always drink my matcha tea out of. So now I'm gonna get a new one. So we are going out. I love that.
they literally didn't have anything, so I just bought, I think it's a vase that I bought, but it's the only thing that was big enough. Hmm. What I'm feeling right now is literally what I needed to feel the past two weeks. I quit my job so I can not get my life back together, but just think about myself. And I know I said this yesterday, but this is like a, a theme that has been very reoccurring the past two weeks. Because um, that's what I wanted. I, shit happened and I kind of I didn't lose myself but I just came to the realization that sometimes you have to do shit for yourself know what's meaningful to you instead of for others and just do what you feel like doing because it's okay to lay in bed all day it's okay to scroll to TikTok seven hours at one end it's okay to sit behind your desk it's okay to nothing has to have a meaning but at the same time everything you do is meaningful to you whether it's me talking to a camera right now or it's <laughs> me showering literally two seconds ago everything i currently do has so much meaning that it's kind of crazy and scaring me i guess what i'm trying to say is that the past year, not even that, just the past six months, my life has been changing constantly. Like, my life has been doing full on 360 flips, 180 no scopes, whatever the fuck you want to call them. My life has been on a roller coaster. And something I fully forgot doing, not only that, something I didn't even think of was myself. I completely forgot the concept of me. And I'm not gonna lie, growing up and becoming the person who I am right now has not been the easiest, um, let alone thinking about myself, especially when I was a kid. Just the judgment of other people was damaging, uh, to say the least. But it's something that has been on my mind 24-7 ever since I was a little kid. Just how the world perceives me. Talking to my friend has made me realize one really important thing. And that is, what am I living for? What do I get out of the world? What do I get out of living and as hard as that question may sound it's actually pretty easy i'm just happy that right now i'm in this on this path of life where i'm just discovering myself like i might be 20 turning 21 soon but i never actually understood the concept of me it's so weird to say and and i'm so glad that the past six months have been the most beautiful, wonderful experiences I've ever had. But at the same time, it's the most dark, not painful, but the most disencouraging part of my life yet. That I'm so glad it happened because there's so much... I can take away from this now and there's so much I can just learn from it.
today was hard to say the least. It was very confusing. I met up with my ex for the first time in two weeks. And the feelings I felt beforehand all just make so much more sense now. But the hard part is that I'm I'm still in love with him. I also told him that, but the hardest part of this whole breakup is that I'm still in love with him. I'm gonna have to throw away all those feelings I've had for him and I still have for him, which is gonna be so hard. Um, but hey, nothing I can't do. It's just gonna take a lot of effort, time, self-growth. Uh, a lot of nights just of me sitting by myself probably, but I'll get there. The struggle that I have right now is that I'm so in love with this man that I don't know what to do without him. And that's what I've been trying to figure out the past three weeks. I've been trying to figure out what what I'm what I'm doing here, what I live for, what I'm supposed to do, what my future looks like, what if I wanna study or if I wanna go work or where I wanna live. Just all those questions that I can never find an answer for. In the moment I see him, all those questions just immediately, they're just gone. I just have no more questions anymore and just everything is so clear to me and everything makes so much sense. But once that person is not in my life anymore, I'm so confused, I just don't know what to do. The hardest thing for me right now is figuring out everything, just like how I want my life to turn out without him. Because I have to know. And I have one week the time, but I'm going to have to decide today. Yeah. Hello, I want to talk because I am in love with Guy. I'm in love with Guy. And Guy no love me, but it, it's fine. But I don't know what to do when he not when we not talk, when he go sleep now. I don't want to stop talk. I want to talk to Guy. Because I, I love Guy. Very much. But me and Guy, we tried to do stuff before because he think he may be bisexual because of me but it's not true it's, no, it's not gonna work 
so we know kisi kisi no more hmm. but i want to i want to love but it's it not so much work i know that but i do still love very much I love I I 